I love the fall when all the ferns start doing their thing. Here's, you see how that's like a different part of the plant. Like the male, you know, will have the seeds or the little spores on that section there. Anyway, it's doing its thing. It's mating itself, I guess is how you put it. I don't know. These are two different types of ferns. This is Virginia something another. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. This is another fern. It's called a Eastern Grape Fern or Cut Leaf Grape Fern. I always just known it as Eastern Grape Fern. And that is its, you know, pollinating parts. Oh, it's pollinating right now, see? Awesome. I'm helping it pollinate. That's so cool. I've got the spores all over my hands now. What you think, puppy? Eastern grape ferns. And far as I know, far as I can tell, I'm going to do a little more research on these because you never know, but most ferns don't have any type of health benefits as far as eating it or doing a medicine from it. But I don't know. I'm going to definitely see if I can find something. I don't know what type of family. I don't think these are a fern, but it's called running cedar. And it, it does. runs everywhere. You can see I saw the dark green. It's just everywhere. And it's on the endangered list here in North Carolina. And then in Virginia, it is, it's on the threatened list in North Carolina. It's on the endangered list in Virginia. <laughs>